Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to do a review on the Patriot Studio 112 scale liquor. It's, well, I know him from Resident Evil 2, the remake, and the original, but most recently the remake. It is the packaging, it doesn't say the liquor on the box. It's called the BOW Evolver Biomechanical Universe Series THR Evolutionary History of BOW 112 scale real masterpiece. Prototype shown, final product may be slightly different. Well, I have the final product here, and it seems to be quite an impressive piece, as hideous as it appears to be. Uh, very poseable. I thought I'd start by just showing him in an upright position like this with the arms stretched out, and then we'll get him on all fours, kind of crawling around. You get the extra long tongue that you can plug in and some different hands but drop a like on this video subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram at dnight333 i hope you enjoy the review folks let's just take a look from toe to head he reminds me a lot of that kind of hellraiser look where there was no skin on the body and that just it just looks sore and very fresh and wet. Just the, the tissue and the muscle. It's all there. But lots of posability, you can see that. Especially in the leg area there. I mean, it may be a bit unsightly, but you need that there if you want to be able to do all that on all fours, crawling around. You know, he'd be really fun to shoot in a diorama and have him crawling on the ceiling or up the wall especially with the the extra long tongue but they did a great job with the paint especially on the brain the brain and the mouth painted really well and check it out from the side so that tongue that you can just see there that's a separate little bit that you can plug in or you can have the extra long version where you can have no tongue in there at all and just close the mouth fully I found the best way to switch the tongues around was to actually remove the head completely and just you know plug it in that way you can even remove the jaw to make it easier to switch tongues if you want to and put it all back together again but, oh, the wet look of the skin it's very nicely done it really does look quite disturbing. Ugh. There's the view from the back. Now those shoulder blades, they do turn and can be removed. So you've even got posability in them. Ugh, the flesh, right? Oh, the, the meat, shall we say, it just looks so fresh. Now they're different scale figures, but this is how the Patriot Studio 112 scale liquor looks next to a NECA 7 inch Ultimate Halloween 2 Michael Myers figure just to give you an idea of the size. Whew, well, here's the first pose. And it's just a lot of fun to work with. And I can just imagine in a diorama this would look fantastic and just have a great time photographing it. I'm bringing you a separate little showcase video on this guy in the future. But what a great little piece. Everything I've seen so far from Patriot Studio has been very impressive. I've reviewed two Joaquin Phoenix Joker 112 scale figures by then. And the Lady... Oh, is it Lady Dimitri? I forget the name now. From I, had, I never played the actual Resident Evil game she was from, but she was the very tall lady with the black hat and the claws. Follows you around that mansion. Reviewed her. That was an amazing looking piece. But this 
is awesome. It's nice and easy to get the feet flat on the ground, easy to turn the wrist up to get it to balance. Very shiny and wet looking. That's a legendary predatory nightmarish creature right there. It's been scaring folks for the past, what, I don't know, 20 years, however it's long. I don't know. I remember, oh man, like maybe the late 90s, being around my friend's house and he had the first Resident Evil game on the PlayStation. Uh, the one in the mansion where they get chased in there by those wild dogs or whatever. Man, just the memories. And I remember when he first got Resident Evil 2 or the first time I saw one of these things. Scared the hell out of me. Yep. That looks so cool. Alright, I'll change the pose. Let's try the big, long, twisty tongue. But it poses really well and looks fantastic. removed the inner tongue and I removed the head to do that and I'm going to put in the big long tongue now but I just thought I'd just show you how the head sculpt looks with the mouth fully closed just kind of gnashing the teeth it kind of resembles a fly like the brain kind of looks like two big fly eyes but great paintwork on that great sculpt and paint All right, there he is with his big long tongue, and it's awesome. I've got to find somewhere to put him on display in the room. I have no space, and I've had to put some stuff in storage, but this guy is going on the shelf. There is no doubt about it. This is an awesome piece, folks. I'm glad that Patriot Studio sent it my way to do a review for you. This is something I'm very, very happy to tell you. Get it, you know, if you can get this in your collection, I definitely recommend you do. It's a lot of fun. It's very impressive to look at. Very satisfying little piece. Sturdy, tough figure. When I'm handling him, I don't feel like anything's gonna break. really really well done <laughs> look at that thing it's like a really unique thing in the collection now excellent work I'd love to know what you think in the comments folks light it up and let me know I'm no expert on the liquor so I don't know if every little detail is accurate but I certainly know who that's meant to be I think they've done a really good job of it. What would I give this out of 10? Let's see. Can I think of a reason not to give this a 10? Not really. I mean, it does come with two different hands that you can have on the piece. You know, with slightly more sort of closed in fingers. And then the other one's a bit more outstretched. You get the kind of stubby little tongue bit there. And the extra long tongue. Posability is fantastic, paint's really good, sculpt is excellent. Yeah, I'm going to have to give it a 10. Like I said, experts out there might know something that I don't when it comes to the accuracy of the creature, but I just I see and feel a 10 out of 10 piece when I'm working with this. 
He's got good, sturdy, chunky wrist pegs, folks. So you don't really have to worry about breaking the wrist pegs when you're changing the hands over. It's pretty thick. So very well done to Patriot Studio. All right, folks, drop a like on it, subscribe. I'll see you soon. Take it easy. Bye-bye.